The oldest anarchy server in Minecraft is such a toxic place that any time the player base is able to put aside their differences and work together on something, it's kind of a big deal. About a week ago, I received an invitation from 2B2T player Hermeticlock to come tour a base on the server. Except, this wasn't just any base. It was a community build project. Built near Zero Zero, the spawn region. Hands down the most dangerous area of the entire server. At first, I was skeptical. Could this be a trap? But Hermetic Lock is known on the server as being a community leader that brings people together despite their differences. He claimed the base was going to get grief soon and he wanted me to come experience it before it was destroyed. So I decided to check it out and see what kind of bizarre town this place was. Today, we head to the spawn base known as the Cloud Club. I have no idea what to expect. I know it looks like I'm not moving right now, but I'm actually flying fairly quickly towards this Cloud Club, or whatever it's called. House has enabled the Lytras for the time being just to see if the server does alright with them, but there's no guarantee that they're going to be around very long, so that's why I'm using mine while I still can. Anyway, we should be approaching the base, and I have two objectives today. Tour the base, and then leave without being followed. That second one is very important. If you're a YouTuber on 2B2T, it's common to have your logout spot scouted, and in some cases, sold to other players. It's happened in the past, and I'd rather that not happen to me. But we are getting close to the base now. Oh, there's a lot of people here already. Look at this. Wow. So this is Cloud Club, huh? Well, it makes sense because it's in the sky. But you would not believe how close to zero zero this base is. I mean, this base has only been around for a week from what I've been told, but like it's still standing near zero zero over a week it's been. That's crazy. Well, let me just land real quick and get my bearings here. Ow! Ow! Well, it looks like everyone's coming to say hello. Really? I mean, yeah, I'm, hey, I'm just a normal 2B2T player like you guys. I don't know why you're crowding me like this. I, 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 don't, I don't have time to sign autographs. I have a base to tour. Jeez, all right, I need to get this tour started. I can't be standing around like a putz. Let's get going. So we're on top of this spawn mason lodge, it looks like. There's a, there's a ship off in the distance made out of obsidian. There's a lot for us to see today. Yeah, come on, guys. Just... I... Uh. Well, anyway, let's get in here. All these spawn... What? Oh, is that Etika? Oh, my God. Look at this map art. This is incredible. Man, I miss you, man. Whoever made these... This has to be like 16 map arts in one. That's insane. Wow. Let's head out to the central area here. I see a lot of spawn mason banners here. Yeah, from what I've been told, the spawn masons helped build this. I know XCC2's group sort of had a, like a role in this base as well. A lot of people involved, according to Hermetic Lock. So it's very cool to see all this work put in action. But there's no rhyme or reason to this place. I mean, there's vines going down. I'm gonna turn off my ESP. Let's take a look at these signs real quick. So these are all the players that have been involved with this place. So, like I said, it's any time the community on 2B2T comes together for anything, it's a big deal. Because normally they're so toxic to each other, them actually working together, it's pretty impressive. And so far, I mean, I'm not really getting attacked or anything. It seems to be a peaceful place. Are those all pig spawners? Let's check this out. Why would you make map art of that? That was absolutely disgusting. I never want to see those map arts again. Ugh. Sheesh. Look at this Charmander. Look at this Charmander. That's pretty dope. Hopefully no one's got a flint and steel. And look at this, this NFE tower. If you guys don't have, you know, if you don't know, if you haven't seen some of my previous videos, the NFE was an old spawn base back in the day that XCC2 would really maintain. What do we got over here? More cabins, it looks like. 
cool sandstone tower, tons of beacons, a little a little tropical beach area that's floating next to snowy trees. Wait, I I I thought I heard note blocks. Oh yeah, so someone's tuning something somewhere. Jeez, I'll look at all these bookcases. Man. Oh, wait. That's a lot of boats. That is a lot of boats, man. Why would you stack boats this high? I don't get it. You know what? I need to stop asking questions about this base. This is just so bizarre. In this house here. Yeah, because I want to check out the interiors of these places. Because it looks like, yep, the interiors of these bases, or these little buildings, have just as much detail on the inside as they do on the outside. I mean, look at the little flower in the pot. It's 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 very quaint. Hey, really? I mean, I can still exit the building, as you can clearly see. All right, but anyway, let's keep going. No one's gonna stop us touring this base. Yeah, I love the fact that house has re-enabled Elytra. It's just like it's made life so much easier. I hope. Ow! Ow! Could you knock it off? Thank you. I hope House keeps Elytra around for a while, because right now it seems like they're not easily exploited, so he may, we might have functional Elytra for a while. I, you know, fingers crossed. What is this book? Finsta is king? No, I don't think so. Let's write an appropriate message. Finsta is a wank pheasant. There we go, that's more appropriate. Love. Fit M's. Ow! A book. What does this say? What does this say? Yeah, I'm just gonna burn this book real quick. Uh, I think there's. I wanna check out, like, the ring over here. So there's, like, a little flight ring for people to fly through with their elytra, and it's got, like, lava in it. It's on fire on the outside. It's, I mean, it's a cool looking ring. It is very cool. So, overall, all these floating, uh, you know, structures. You know, different people contributed. It's a really cool looking base, but now it is time for me to leave. But the tricky part is leaving this base without getting followed, because I know these guys are going to follow me. So getting out of here while not being tracked is going to be tricky, because we all have the same elytra speed. So outrunning them or outflying them is not really going to be an option here. I may, I might be able to do some maneuvers to get away from him, but House has sort of like stopped vanilla maximum speed. So even if you are in vanilla flight mode, if you try and fly too quickly, uh, the server will just stop you in your tracks. So maybe if I can get all the way up here, they won't follow me as badly. No, they're still coming up. We're above build limit now. I mean, you can see our player models are disappearing. Go down. See, right there, it stopped me, because I was going too fast, even though it was Vanilla Flight. Uh, so, yep, there, it stopped me again. Housemaster re-enabling Elytra. I mean, there's always a monkey paw. Yeah, we can fly, but we can't go very fast, can we? If I stay low to the ground, maybe I can shake them. And no, they're still coming. They still, uh, they still want to follow me. Like I said, it is imperative that I'm able to get to a spot where they cannot follow, where I can log out. I do not want my location tracked. Let's see. Hmm. There you go. Let's go all the way up here. I gotta be able to shake them this way. I'll go up, and then I'll do a swan dive straight down. Maybe that'll shake them. Oh yeah, we're way up here now. We are way above build limit. There we go. We're so, I'm slowly losing them. They're not able to keep up as easily. Okay. So I got two more on screen. I can shake them. I can shake them. One left. Except he's using boat fly instead of elytra. I gotta break his boat. If I can knock him out of the air, he won't be able to follow me anymore. Uh, we got an actual dog fight today on 2B2T. I haven't had one of those in two years. This is going to get interesting. That's right. Keep following me. I have boat aura enabled, so if I can break his boat with my axe, he'll fall. And it should be enough time for me to escape out of tracer range. Let's 
fly a little low here, see if he follows. He's still following me. He's keeping up right now. Maybe I can use an arrow to knock him off when he's least expecting it. Let me just pretend like I'm AFK. Let him get close. Let him get close. Let him get close. Ah, he moved as soon as I looked at Yep, he knows what's up. Come here. Come here. Come here. I'm going to break your boat, boy. That's right. I'm going to beat your boat like a rented mule. Come here. That's right. Now he knows. He, he knows that I'm trying to knock him out of the air, so he keeps moving away. Oh, I lost him. I lost him. All right, keep going. Keep going. Kind of change directions a little bit. And we lost him. Excellent. Well, we escaped without having our location tracked. And overall, we got to tour a very cool community base. I'm always surprised when the 2B2T community can come together for things like this. It's, it's really cool to see. But anyway, that's the video, everyone. If you enjoyed today, make sure to subscribe and like the video. Also, make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter to stay updated on when new 2B2T content is arriving. And also make sure to follow me on Twitch to catch my SMP live live streams. Well, that's it, everyone. Where will our adventures on 2B2T lead us next? I guess we'll find out eventually, huh? Stay alive out there, Fit Fam. Take it easy, and we'll see you next time.